Greetings and salutations everyone, I am as always Darth Devious, bringing you another video review, and as you can see, this time we have, from Fall of Cybertron, Kickback the Insecticon. And again, you know, same kind of packaging as, you know, all the other Fall of Cybertron figures, this generation's packaging. He's the number nine from the series. On the back, some product shots. He's got his disc launcher, which can almost look like a crossbow. Cybertronian insect mode. And here's his bio, if you care to read it yourself. Feel free. Tech specs, again, in the G1 style, which is really nice. And underneath, you see other products, Starscream and Sideswipe. And, as I said, Starscream, I will have coming to me soon. Sooner rather than later. Sideswipe, I don't really want. I wasn't a fan of the jazz mold, so get that out of here. Not going to get him. Somebody wants to donate him, that's different. I'm not buying him myself. I'm not spending my money on him. Anyway, so here's Kickback in his insect mode. And it's fairly cool, you know. You can see it as a grasshopper of sorts. Cybertronian version of one anyway. Pretty cool. Right here I have a problem. It's probably a QC issue on mine, but this just won't peg together. It's not a big deal. I'm going to be keeping him mostly in robot mode anyway, because his robot mode is spectacular. It really is. Insect mode, it's okay. Though my wife is threatening to steal him from me because she's a real fan of the Insecticons. So, of course, you know, I'm going to bring in the G1 kickback so you can see what they were doing with the design. And there's some nice little callbacks to that, you know, how the head had the antenna and stuff like that, but still the robot head was part of it. And this is the same thing. His robot head is underneath this gray part here. So that's a nice little callback. Alright. So I'm going to get him transformed. And we'll take a look at his robot mode and we'll also get the other guy transformed too. So I shall be right Alrighty, here's Kickback in his robot mode, and I like this. This is really cool. Um, he is a fairly large figure, um, considering he's in, in the Fall Cybertron line, and most of those are small. Um, he's decent posability, decent posability, and he's got, you know, ball joints and swivels at his shoulders. Ball joint at his elbow. He does have a wrist swivel. Nothing at the waist. You know, he's got a swivel here. Ball joint at the hip. Decent knee. And he's got ball joints on his feet. And his feet are just massive. So he can really hold some really cool poses. Head's on a bit of a ball joint too. Get some, some looks. These are on ball joints as well and can be posed. Um, you can either leave them plain like this or you can put uh, the wing parts back in. But these also become weapons for him. So, And I like using them as weapons because I just think that looks cool. He does come with this, this disc launching thing. And yeah, you can put the weapons on there like that and make it look like a crossbow I'm not a fan of this weapon it's kinda it really doesn't do anything for me I mean you push it forward and it launches the disc and it doesn't even launch it that far so yeah it's it's a big gun he doesn't need it though and there's really no place to store it on in his robot mode other than in his hand 
Um, I prefer him with the swords. Just think he looks better like that. In my opinion, anyway. So, yeah. He's a really, really cool figure. Um, not too shabby at all. Just give me a second. I'm transforming the G1 one, which only takes a few seconds anyway. So, yeah. You can see here. Here's his G1 counterpart. And you can see how, you know, that's where these came from. The wings that come off of his back. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, out of the figures that I have so far from this next wave of Fall of Cybertron figures, him and Ultra Magnus, they're the two that I recommend the most. Um, I'll probably be saying the same thing about Starscream when I get him, but, you know, I'm a little biased when it comes to Starscreams. You all know that. Speaking of Ultra Magnus, I will bring him in so you can get a size comparison between the two. And though they're the, about the same height... He has so much more bulk to him. He's just a massive, beefy figure. And it just works for the character. So yeah, this is another highly recommended figure from the Fall Cybertron line. From Generations. If you find him, start looking because they're starting to hit the shelves now. So if you find him, I say get him. Get him, get Ultra Magnus, and get Starscream, which... It's probably what I'm going to say when I get star screen. So, there you go. That's going to be it for this one. You guys be good. A kickback is going to kick back. Kick back. Kick back.